We understand that the grid in front of us is our worksheet and that the grid is made up of columns with letters going along the top A, B, C, D, E, etc. and with rows 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. As the columns and the rows intersect we have our cells and the headings of the columns and the rows combine to form the cell address or the cell reference and the first cell would be A1. Now when a cell is selected it will have a black outline such as A1 here. Now this shows that the cell is the active cell. If we click on another cell, C3, the black outline goes around C3 and C3 becomes the active cell. Now just underneath the ribbon on the left hand side is a box which is called the name box. The active cell will be displayed in the name box. So we now know what cells are and how to identify a cell. The cells is where we add our data so we need to know how Microsoft Excel works with cells. There are three types of data that can go into a cell. Firstly we have a label and if in cell A1 I were to type income and in cell A3 if I type pay A4 dividend and in A6 total. These are all labels and this identifies the data so that the reader can interpret the information in front of them. In other words their headings and text to identify the work we're doing. Now Excel does not use labels in its calculations. What it does use in its calculations are values. So if I move to cell C3 and if I put in the value 1000 and into C4 the value 1000 what this will correspond to is that our pay is 1000 and our dividend is 1000 so you can see we're starting to build a small worksheet so that's the second bit of data that we can put into a cell values now values are used in Excel for our calculations. The third bit of data that we can add to a cell is the formula. And a formula is a calculation that includes cell references, values and a mathematical operation. And I'm going to show you a very simple formula to get our total. So I want the equals, so I want the answer to the sum in brackets of cell C3 and of cell C4 close brackets. So I've put a formula into the box at box C6 to get our total. And if I press the enter button the formula disappears and we have the total which is the sum of the pay and the dividend which is 2000. That's how our formula has worked. Now if I select the cell at C6 up here in the box underneath the ribbon which is known as the formula bar we can see the formula that I put in there and that corresponds to the answer in cell C6 and that is a very simple worksheet in Excel. Thanks very much.